Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here bringing you some soccer card pack opening heat this Friday. So I hope everyone has had an amazing week so far. I hope you're looking forward to this mental weather here in the UK this weekend. Uh, and because it's Friday the 15th of July, it is my birthday today. So this is a birthday pack opening video today. Uh, not only is it my birthday today, there's no water in Milton Keynes. So if I look a little bit of a state, it's because I'm dying here in this hot weather uh, and it's a birthday without any water. So what can I say? Uh, we were going to do a premium box opening video for my birthday today, but I realised all of a sudden it's my 100th video when I do my next video for this channel. So today's video number 99 and my next video will be number 100. So we're going to save the premium box for then. And today, for my birthday video, we are going to be doing Panini Adrenaline. And we are going to be doing both Panini Adrenaline World Cup mini tins and trying to build the best draft squad possible from just two mini tins. So I know you guys love a draft builder. I love a draft builder. And what a more fun video than this to do on my birthday. So we are going to try and build the best squad possible from just 10 packs and four limited edition cards. So I'm buzzing to get this open. I'm buzzing to build a squad. So let's get these tins cracked. But before we crack those tins, people, do smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video and do subscribe not to miss any more soccer videos from me. Uh, we're doing adrenaline match attacks. I open pretty much everything on the channel and the Blazy Collects Army has almost hit a thousand subs, uh, which is absolutely mental considering we've only been doing this since November. So I appreciate everyone who comes here and has a view. You guys are the reason I do these videos because I know how much you enjoy them. So let's not waste any time. Let's crack these tins open and see what sort of squad we can build from just 10 packs. So here we have it, people. We have both Panini Adrenaline World Cup 2022 collector tins to open. There is a third one, a blue one, but I couldn't find that at the shops today. So we are just going to rock with the orange and kind of the burgundy tin, I want to say, uh, to see if we can build the best squad possible. You get five packs in each tin and two limited edition cards, which means we've got 84 cards to try and build an ultimate draft squad today. And only in the £10 each, these are a cracking way of filling out your collection and also getting a few limited editions on the way. So we are going to be busting both of these mini tins open. The rules of engagement today is that when you've filled a position, you cannot take a player out. So just like the FIFA draft, you've got to pass on a player if you're not 100% sure. That means if we don't pick some players early, we may not even get a full squad today. So the rules of engagement are once you put a player in, you can't take it out. When you've discarded a player, you can't put them back in. Really, really simple. What is the best starting 11 we can do from these two tins? So we are going to start today, I think, with the orange tin. And let's see what we have got inside. Uh, these tins are an absolute nightmare to find, by the way, at the moment. Literally, WH Smith is the only place I've seen them. And they literally just had two in stock when I got there. So if you are looking to get your hands on one of these and you don't want to order direct from Panini, I would recommend checking out your local WH Smith uh, to see if they've got them in stock. So orange tin. Let's get this open. Got It's been sealed with some sort of super glue, I think. There we go. We've got it, people. There are our packs. Get those out of there. They're really tightly... Uh, a lot more tightly squeezed than the uh, match tax mega tins. They also lead the limited editions loose, uh, which is a little bit annoying. I'd rather have them in a pack, but hey ho, we'll leave them to one side, and they're going to be the wild card at the end of each tin opening. So we'll start off with the tin packs, and then we'll take a look at the limited editions. So here we go. First five packs, people. First five opportunities to start building this draft squad. So I've got four top masters already. Wouldn't it be good if we can add some more top masters or even the invincibles uh, as we build out this squad? So we start off with Robin Gossens. Can't say he's getting into my squad. I'm not sure. We're going to pass on Robin Gossens. We've then got Anthony Cateras to Costa Rica. Again, not going to my team. Ampadu. Didn't he? Mm, no, not an Ampadu for me. We've got Boomer Saar. Again, I'm not too familiar with Boomer Saar. There are a lot of uh, a lot of players I'm not familiar with in this collection. But he's going to make this draft builder really, really challenging. So we're going to pass there. Eden Hazard. Oh, he is past his prime, isn't he? But he is a proper OG. What are we thinking, people? Eden Hazard. Do we stick him in? Do we leave him? If he was in his prime, he would be in this squad without a doubt. But he's not. He's not quite the player he was, is he? I'm going to I'm gonna pass. I'm going to be risky, right? I think there's better players out there. So we've gone through the base cards and still not put a player in the squad. Our fast holo card is... 
Oh, Matthias De Ligt, number 354. And it is the Titan variant with that crystal kind of cracked ice design going on there. There you go. You can just about see it. I am going to stick Matthias De Ligt in the team because I am worried I've passed on an awful lot of players so far. Yet buyer's remorse doing a draft builder. If you don't make these people, you get some serious buyer's remorse on your way through this. So we're going to go with Matthias De Ligt and we're going to stick him in that centre-back position. And as I said, he now cannot come out of this squad. We're in. We're committed. We've got to go with it, people. Second card, 3-2-1, oh, no, is the Danish Crest. And I mean, that's not going to get us particularly far on this video, is it? So we've got to push that one to one side. We've got one more defender, 3-2-1. Ooh, Sadu Cease. I said always oh, if I was really familiar with him, but I'm not. So we are going to have to pass on Cease, which means from one pack opening, and here's the QR code, we've only got one player and we've only got nine packs to go. This is risky, risky business, people. This is risky business. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, and it's not because Milton Keynes has run out of water, I tell you. This is a little bit of a sketchy start to this pack opening. So, we've got ourselves Shaparenko uh, of the Ukraine. God bless Ukraine, but you're not blessing my squad. We've got a Raljo of Uruguay. Again, we're going to have to pass, I think. Another contender. God, we're getting lots of contenders in this, people. We've got Borges. Again, I can't commit to putting Borges in the team, can I? Leon Goretzka. Right, now we're talking. This is a little bit better, people. Oh, it's early in the video to be committing, isn't it? But Goretzka is half decent. I'm going to take a risk and pass. Frederico Valverde. God, they've given us two potential options back to back there. Fear of missing out, people. We are going to put Valverde in there. I like Valverde. I think he's a solid midfielder. Uh, we've got to go for Valverde. We're not going to pass on... We can't pass on everyone, people. We could end up passing on this whole pack if we don't stick Valverde in. So we're playing Valverde in the centre mid position, just in front of Matthias De Ligt. And as we fill out this squad right, we'll just start moving some players around to make it a bit more spacious. Next card, holo card. We've got Kingsley Coman. Magician, right. First card, right, where I think actually this guy needs to go straight in the squad. So actually, I'm going to commit with Kingsley Coman and we're going to play him in the left wing position. So we're going to play him up there. That means, you know, we're going to start spreading out our three centre midfielders. We're now going for 4 3 3, people. That's confirmed it. We're going for a 4 3 3. Next card is 3 2 1. A contenders card again. The contenders United Arab Emirates. Not doing bits for us that. Final card here, people. It's a purple. Can it be Ronaldo? Can we stick a Sue at the front of our team? 3 2 1. Pedri rookie. Look at that. I love Pedri. What a card to collect. But I think I'm going to pass on Pedri, you know. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? That's really, really difficult. Do we pass on Pedri? Do we pass or stick? Young player, lot of potential. Oh, oh, this is tough. I'm going to pass. He just passed on Pedri, people. I just passed on Pedri. Oh, I don't know how I feel, guys. I'm getting a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. I don't know if that was a good decision there. I just feel like there's more established players if we're picking a draft builder squad today that can hold down those midfield positions. We've passed on Pedri. That might be our only purple of the tin as well. Oh, don't know if I should have done that. But what's done is done, people. We've got to keep moving. We keep this going. Uh, we've got of Ecuador, Estrada. We're definitely passing there. Brian Ruiz, once a Fulham. We're passing there. God, we've got a lot of passes because Silamana's getting passed. Akanji. Oh, he's good for Borussia Dortmund, isn't he, Akanji? Again, I'm going to hold out for a hero. No. He was a hero, funnily enough, but I'm holding out for a better hero. Next card here, people. Three, two, one. It's a hollow. Luis Suarez. Right. Now this is putting us in a position. This is putting us in a position. Ronaldo's still there. Messi's still there. Neymar is out there. Lewandowski's out there. There's still a lot of big names we could pull. I feel like I'm going to have to go with Luis Suarez because if I don't, I could be in a position where I don't have a striker. And again, I've not placed him particularly well in the middle there, have I? So Luis Suarez, I'm going to go for. Suarez is heading up our attack today, people. Hopefully we can get Ronaldo, Messi or Neymar to go on the other wing. 3-2-1. Oh, Raheem Sterling just moved to Chelsea. He could play that right midfielder role right there. Or the right winger role even. I'm going to hold out for Nessi, Messi or Neymar or Ronaldo. I'm holding out. Raheem's a great player, but I'm holding out. We've got a defender here, people. 3 2 1. Invincible! We hit it, people! We hit the invincible card! Oh, 
and there's a second car behind it. They're stuck together. They were stuck. So we're going to move that aside. I can't play the invincible card because it's for every single position. Oh, that's why I didn't know. I'm grateful they were stuck together because that would have spoiled the surprise. We got the invincible card, people, in our tin opening. Oh, yes. Oh, God, I'm vibing so hard right now. This is my birthday present from Panini. The invincible card has been pulled in our tin opening. Look at that. Wow. We're going to put it to one side down here. We have got the invinci... Ah, just look at it one more time, people. We pulled the invincible card in our tin opening. Look at that. Uh, we did it. We did it. Right, I don't care whatever card this is now. It's Pepe. Good defender. I've been around for a while, but I could do without someone getting sent off. Wow, people. We just hit the invincible... Ah, oh, I can't stop smiling. We just hit the invincible card, people, in this tin opening. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Do you really like it? Oh, right. We're going to carry on anyway. Back to the draft builder. My ears hurt. I'm smiling that much. Back to the draft builder, people. We have got Goliz... 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 Golizade, Golizade of Iran. We're going to pass. Hector Herrera of Mexico, pass. A lot of Mexicans here. Luis Rodriguez, pass. Ooh, Zakaria. Good midfielder. But again, we're going to pass. Milic, we've got a striker now, so we're passing again. Next card here, people. 3 2 1. Ari Maguire. Oh, I'm not really building Banter FC at the moment, am I? So I maybe shouldn't stick him in the squad. He's not bad, though, on his day. He can be half decent, can't he? Some of you would disagree in the comments. Let me know whether I should have put Harry Maguire in there in the comments, but I'm going to pass. Next one here is a midfielder. Please be a decent one. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Christian Eriksen. Now, this is a conundrum. What a comeback for Brentford this year when he, you know, with everything he went through at Euro 2020. Wow, he really, he's a great player. I've got to put him in, haven't I? I can't say no. Christian Eriksen is in the squad, people, in the centre midfielder position. That gives us Valverde, who's nice and strong in the middle, and it gives us Christian Eriksen, who's our playmaker. I'm happy with that. Right, now we've got a goalkeeper. We could really do with one. This might be one we just have to commit with. Three, two, one. Oh, Martinez. I run the risk of not getting a good goalkeeper. Martinez isn't bad. He also does play for Villa, who are a little bit leaky at the back. We're going to stick him in. Martinez had a fantastic season the year before last. We're going to put our faith in him and we are going to go for Martinez, people. There we go. We are struggling to get everyone in there, people, but we are just about squeezing people. So take the QR code, if you will, as we go. But we just about, like I said, got everyone on this sheet of paper. So final pack of tin number one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six positions filled. We really need defenders now, especially wing wax. So Wingbacks, send me your application. So we have got Vidmar of Switzerland, a pass. Castelletto, pass. Tisidali, pass. We're just passing on the base cards at the moment, aren't we? Gouet, pass. Shibasaki, pass. A quick hot pass in this pack, people. Next one. Three, two, one. Ooh, Frankie de Jong. Right, I've still got one tin to go, and I might have just filled all the midfield positions. I'm going to stick Frankie de Jong in there, you know. I think Fenki de Jong deserves to be in there. Set for a big move to Man United. That Barca team has been a little bit dead recently. I'm happy to commit to Fenki de Jong in our last midfielder position. So there we have it, people. Valverde, Eriksen and de Jong are making up our midfield today. I think this is a badge. It's the United States badge, so that means nothing to us. Final card is a defender. Please be a wing back. A decent wing back right now, people. 3 2 1. Jordi Alba. Right. Bearing in mind, tin number one is done. Jordi Alba's surely got to take that left-back position, hasn't he? There we go. Jordi Alba at left-back people. And again, the invincible card's now being... I'm going to move my limiteds out of the way. Stick that nice and there up in the top corner. We're now going to have to commit to Jordi Alba at that left-back position. There we go, people. Jordi Alba is cemented in. We now need two defenders and one right winger from the remaining cards in this video. So here we go, people. We are going to move on to the limited editions now. Now we are through all of the base cards. We've got a forward and a midfielder. And this better not be Lukaku. I have about 50 Lukakus right now. Please don't troll me on my birthday, Panini. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you're joking me. Karim Benzema. No, he would have been my striker. Oh, you could have gone there instead of Luis Suarez. Oh, I went too early. I went too early, didn't I? 
Karim Benzema. What a player that would have been to lead our lineup. Buyer's remorse, people. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So, we've got to pass on Benzema. We passed. Benzema is gone. We've got a midfielder that we can't even stick in. So 3 2 1. Oh, and it's Declan Rice. Again, he. I'd have had him in there instead of Valverde. Oh, that's annoying. Instead of Valverde, Declan Rice. Oh, no. Oh, no, people. We've got a pass. Tin number one done. And I got a little bit hesitant. I should have waited to see the first limited edition, shouldn't I? I should have just waited. It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is, people. We move, don't we? We got the Invincible card, which was a very big dub. But from the team building perspective, we missed out on two Donnies there, didn't we? Right, so if we get these things out, I don't want to spoil the limited editions at the back. So I'm just going to take a peek. I need to tip them up backwards. So we do this. There we go. Hit the face up. So there we go. Put those to one side. Put them up there again. That gives us now five more packs, people, to see what we can do. Let's see if we can fill these remaining positions and fill them with half decent players. So, pack number one here, people. Right winger, centre back, and right back still to recruit. We have got ourselves a Hunan Ahmed pass. We've got Luis Rodriguez pass. Zakaria pass. Milic pass. A lot of passing again. God, I'll tell you like this. Arsene Wenger. All this passing, it's right up his street. Wenger ball 2.0, people. Next card, 3, 2, 1. We've got... I went for Suarez, and since then, we've got Benzema and Robert Lewandowski. No, oh, people, I'm... I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I went too early. There's the Mexican crest. I went too early. Midfielder. Havertz. Oh, probably wouldn't have made it, actually. That's not too bad. Next card is a defender. Please be a right back. Three, two, one. Nagatomo legend. Look at that. That is a cracking card. But I can't stick Nagatomo in my side, can I? We'll pass. And there's a QR code, people. Oh, no. Lewandowski and Benzema have both come up since I picked Suarez. Ah, oh, right. Nicholas Schul of Germany. Am I going too early again, people? Am I going too early? Oh, there's limited editions to come. He's good, Saul, isn't he? Never. Someone called Saul. Good TV show. Gonna pass. I've done it. I passed. I'm moving on. Lapadula, Abbas. Uh, Dia, Joel Campbell, little throwback there, but we're going to pass a midfielder, Al Farage, that's fine, we wouldn't have necessarily gone for him, Sergio Busquets, I hate him actually, he does a lot of diving, I don't hate him, that's a bit mean, but he dives too much for my liking, some people love him, love him or hate him, like Marmite, but not for me, uh, and final card is a forward, please be a right winger, Ronaldo, 3-2-1, top master Neymar, Ooh! What a pull, people. We got top master Neymar and the Invincible card from one pack open. Well, one or two tin openings from two mini tins, the Invincible and top master Neymar. You, son, in that lovely little mosaic design, are taking that right winger spot. Look at that, people. After a few mistakes, Neymar is helping us redeem ourselves right now. We have got Neymar in the team and it is a top Nasta Neymar 2. Oh, this is good, people. That was good. What a pack that was. Top Master and the Invincible from just two collector's tins. Wow. I'm going to have this collection pleated in no time, I tell you, people. This collection for me is almost done. Uh, I'm only missing now, what, four more, three more Top Masters, and that's it from the front page. Wow. So we got Zinchenko, Nandez, a pass again. Oh, was that? I just passed it without even thinking. Uh, we've got Pricciado, we're going to pass. Andre Carrillo, pass. Silly, pass. Right, an attacker, please don't be Ronaldo. Harry Kane, there is a hurricane incoming. I'm not his biggest fan, so it's a pass. Anyway, I could, couldn't put him in, but I would have passed him, to be fair, over Suarez. Uh, I'm not Harry Kane's biggest fan, nothing against him, just not. Not my cup of tea, people. So next one, three, two, one. Another Sergio Busquets, which is obviously a pass. 
And we finish off with a forward. Please don't be Ronaldo. Abubakar. Nice. We've got an Abubakar right there. And he is another pass. So, final two packs here, people, before we move on to the limited editions. I really need to make a move on these defenders. We've got Endo pass, Mori pass, Borges pass, Goretzka pass. I passed new once. Hey! Double Valverde. Uh, a double pass. Moving on, defenders, please. Come on. This is a Titan. Please be a good Titan. 3 2 1. Kuli Biali. Ooh, Koulibaly even. This is, he's got to go in there, hasn't he? Koulibaly and the licked at the back. Syria beasts right there. That is a great sense about passing. That whole defence, to be fair, those three are solid. This is a really good team, people. I know I passed on Benzema and Lewandowski, but this is still a really good team. Right, next card, 3-2-1. Abubakar, that's fine. We would have passed on you up front. And the goalkeeper, don't be Neuer. Another Martinez. Look at this, people. One position to fill, and it's the right-back spot. Will I leave it to squeaky bum time and wait for the limited editions? God, that is a risk, isn't it, people? Right, we've got Freula of Switzerland, uh, Osorio, Kamal Miller, Atas pass. We're passing on... Oh, I don't like him. He's, he don't like the Geordie boys, so we definitely have to pass on Pickford. Midfielder, 3-2-1. Damsgaard, that's cool. We would have passed on Damsgaard. This is a crest. That's fine. No more. We haven't had Baris and Morrison a little bit for a while, guys. We're not... Oh, defender. This is going to put me in a sticky position. Oh, no, Baba. Oh, right. Okay. So grab the QR code. Do we go for ba Baba just to have a squad filled? Or do we wait for the limited editions? Wow. Now, this is decision time, people. We could do the Jeopardy clock playing in the background right now. Oh. Guys, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Do I go for Baba or do I leave him? I've left him. I've done it. It leaves us with two limited editions here, people. Two limited editions. This is a forward. Again, if it's Lukaku, I'm going to lose my mind because I've got about 100 of him. Three, two, one. Oh, Adiyemi! We will take that one. That is three limited editions that I need from this pack opening. He wouldn't have made the starting lineup either, so that's okay. That's okay. Nothing lost, people. Nothing lost. What is really good news is that a defender is my final limited edition card. Hopefully, it's a right, a natural right back, and it's a really strong lineup, or we're playing someone slightly out of position. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Hakimi! And Hakimi is a right back, baby. We are sticking him in the right back position. Limited edition. Hakimi. Wow. And what a right back to get as the final card from today's video. I ain't beating around the bush, people. I think this might be the best draft builder I have ever done. And look at that invincible card. Look at the cards I passed on. What a builder. Give me two seconds, people. I'm going to tidy up and we're just going to summarize what we'd rate this squad as. So there we have it, people. That is the end of today's video. And I'm just showing you that invincible card we packed from just two mini tins, which is crazy. And not only that, people, we built what I think is the best draft builder I have ever built because this team is absolutely spicy. And we are going to go through position by position just how good this team is. We've got Martinez in goal, which I'd say is a mid-tier goalkeeper, but does the job. Back four, though... Jordi Alba, Frankie Di... Well, Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba, Matthias De Ligt, Koulibaly, and Hakimi. What a back four. I would say that is Champions League winning material, that back four. Absolutely solid. We've got Valverde, Eriksen, Frankie De Jong in the midfield. Again, I would say that's high tier. Maybe not Champions League winning, but, you know, a top six Premier League midfield. And up front, we have got Komen. Luis Suarez, and that beautiful top master, Neymar Jr., which for me, again, is a Champions League winning strike force, uh, if it stays fit, obviously. That squad for me has the potential, if it was a starting eleven, to win a Champions League uh, outright, I reckon. This is the best squad I have built to date. And we got a top master and an invincible from just two mini tins. So, what a team, guys. And I built the best squad on my birthday and hit some lovely pulls as well to go with it. So uh, 
I think Panini used my birthday today. Uh, and now if Anglian Water could turn the water back on in Milton Keynes, that would be much appreciated. So that is the end of today's video, people. Do smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Comment below and let me know what you thought of my draft side. And also do subscribe not to miss any more soccer content from me because we have got a very special box coming for number 100. But for now, enjoy the rest of your weekend, people, and I'll catch you on the next video.